Hi, my name is Ronald Kenneth and I'm Africa's premier smartphone productivity coach. In this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to design a simple birthday flyer with PixArt. Now let's delve in. The first thing you want to do is to select your PixArt app. When it opens up, you click and then you click on draw, select drawing and then you choose the exact size of the drawing you want to use. Here I'm using a 2500 by 2500 pixels. When I click that and then I click on edit image this will now bring us to the edit image workspace this is exactly where we're going to do all of our work in this particular tutorial video now it opens up yeah so this is what it looks like I want to do a design for someone so the first thing I'm going to do is to click on add photo it's going to pop up now i'll pick the photo i want to use I'm, i want to use this photo with a red background so i'll click that and then add the next thing will be to resize it to fit the entire workspace and then i'll reduce the opacity i'll click on opacity then reduce it uh, okay let's just manipulate that for now in this video i'm, I'm going to be very very um, elaborate as to how i'm getting all these things done so just watch carefully oh okay so i'm trying to see how i can create more space and all that so i'll just um add text like you've seen here i'm adding text and uh i'm trying to add a red a red color the idea is to increase the space for this particular uh design to increase the area which this particular um, picture is going to accommodate i want the picture to go to one end all right so i'm going to try to mimic the background that's basically what i'm trying to do i'm trying to mimic the background so i i clicked on add text and then we now have um to add a shape which is the dash sign i'm just trying to make sure that that dash sign becomes the same color with the background it's almost like extending the background that's basically what i'm doing right now so just watch as i do that i'll try to get the opacity to be the same with that of the picture all right so 26 okay i think this pretty much okay i have to reduce that of the picture a little bit so it does not um so that the text I'm going to add on top of the the, the picture is, is going to appear clearly. So that's basically what I'm doing now. Just watch closely. So yes, I think this is it. You can see that right now. It's almost like, yeah, an extension and all that. So let's proceed. The next thing I'll do is to add another picture. Now this picture I added previously was like the background. Now I'm going to add the main picture. I'll click that and then I'll now go over to frames. Click on frames. Here I can choose the type of frame I want to use for this design. This is basically the concept that came to me to use a frame. So I'll just choose a frame that resonates with my choice. You can choose any other frame you like from the entire mix. Mm, no, no, no. Okay. Now, when you choose your frame, you have to adjust the picture to suit to fit the frame yes i think this is the frame i'm going to use but then adjust the picture to fit the frame it's very simple uh make sure it's centralized and all that and then when you're done you click on the okay sign at the top right now this is what we have i would now shape it um resize it tilt it a bit to fit into this particular workspace okay as you can see that's what is happening just shift it a bit take it up okay make sure it's an is in alignment okay this is it yes this is it i saved that the next thing i'll do is to add my text i'll click on text and then I can start adding my text. The first thing I want to write is 
okay is his name because i um i want his name to appear so i'm going to make his son name a capital letter click on that it comes up now i have different font options i'll just pick this and bring it low click on color click on the pick tool and search for particular color within um the, his picture i don't want to use a color that is outside this picture that is outside the colors here i'll do the same thing and add his name this time around okay i'll make it capital as well reduce it remember i'm using the same font i'm using for the first name so yes i'll just I make that i think i'll make this black okay i'll just align it properly bring it down a bit okay so emphasis now is on ambrose emphasis on, is on ambrose the name ambrose okay so i'll just that's pretty much fine i would add click on text again this time around i'm going to write happy birthday remember we're doing a birthday design all right so we want to say happy birthday but this time around, we're not going to use the same font we used for his name we're going to use a more uh funky font more um how do i put it scripted kind of font let, let's see let, let's just see what we can we can do first of all i need to color this so you'd see the color we're using so i just make it black for now or okay yeah. so this is this is almost like a handwriting kind of design but I'm, I'm 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 gonna have to choose something else let's just browse through the different designs um different uh, fonts that are here and see how we can manipulate anyone to fit usually the happy birthday is supposed to be that that that's basically my choice anyway but it's supposed to be a lot more different than what you have so i'll just click on fonts and then click on other fonts my fonts so this shows all the several fonts i have installed in pixart i'll just pick out one watch carefully now this can be a tough decision to make most times because when you have lots of fonts you just want to choose the most appropriate one for your design okay and the type of design you want to make determines the type of fonts fonts are actually very important fonts are one of the um, key elements and principles of any good design this looks good but now nah, i could go with something else this is good but let's check others we'll go through others and then i'll come back to anyone that i prefer okay let's keep checking okay that's the end of it so i have to go back um we need to get this happy birthday right because if we don't the entire design is going to be messed up remember the name ambrose and fioyo james are all um are all in bold letters so we want to make happy birthday in something a little bit of um handwriting ish uh, should i say calligraphy ish you know stuff like that <laughs> anyway so that's what i have okay so i'm going to leave it like this just align it properly this is beautiful so i'll just save that and then we'll proceed at this point i'm just going to add a dash click on the dash i want to add the date so i'll just choose a font that will give me that particular let's go back to recent fonts yeah so click on that and uh, bring it up to the right okay now remember we're using virtually the same color so i'm just going to pick the color on the ambrose and then that's it and then i click on text then i add the date 13th april okay choose a font i think this font is okay and then i'll just uh, reduce that and then pick it and keep it there so that's that's the birthday all right 
now it comes as you design you can decide to choose any um, area to place whatsoever you want to place at this point i want to start to add some nice stuff to the design so i just add the circle and color it and yeah bring it close drop it there click on add text click test and then another circle this time around i'm going to choose yeah this color reduce it and then drop it there okay let's just drop it right about then reduce the opacity i'll touch the other one and reduce the opacity as well all right okay so you see it's coming to life right i'll save that now let's add text again and then i'm going to click on a plus sign i just want to make this a little bit funky as you see i'm picking the green color i'll just place it uh here all right the idea is just to make it look a little bit more fanciful uh, click on text again and i would add yeah you go to the emoji section you're gonna add that um wavy kind of thing if you check very well you understand i'm not playing around colors that are not inside this design all the colors i'm picking are within the picture i have selected all right so i'm just trying to make this as beautiful as possible all right remember alignment is important and all that so i'll add text again and let's add another circle but this time around circle with an opening i'm going to pick this color yeah drop that there let's shift it a bit okay this is beautiful this is beautiful so i'll save that let's proceed the next thing i'll do is to just add wishing you long life and uh you know the other wishes your long life peace and prosperity all right so i'll click on ok we have a text just align it right under remember if you check very well okay let's select the color we'll select the color from the ambrus and then we'll align this very well to the center now if you see my focus is on ambrus and happy birthday so this other one this text i just wrote now has to be um not so shouty and bold i'll add another text click on text and then i'll type um cutsy ronald kenneth yeah most times when i do this i want um, some form of brand into the design so i'm going to make this a black and then reduce that place it right under and there we go just um place it right there and stuff i think this is just about that the next thing i'll do i just add text again and uh yes the name of my brand and my phone number okay so this is it now i have a signature font for this and this is the font futura slanting futura so i'm just gonna turn that color it the black turn that and place it right at the left hand side and reduce it I don't want it to be too obvious but i still want it to be visible all right okay so yeah this is what we have it's visible now save that okay i think uh what else do we need to do just watch closely watch closely now when you're designing a lot of ideas can come to you i'm going to add text right now i'm going to add text so i'm just going to be like celebrating the rare gem okay so most of when you're designing a lot of ideas can come to you and you just need to learn how to leverage on those ideas and use them well so i'll just yes i'll reduce that i can't drop it here let's choose a color from here ambrose no i can't drop it i don't want to cover his head i have a plan okay so let's reduce the opacity but i'll still have to move this color it black and take it out of there let's keep it here 
one important thing you need to note is alignment and positioning very very important so I just place that there and we are good to go so I'll just click on the next button and I click on save private and that's it all right thank you for watching this particular video um, like and comment and then of course you know don't forget to hit the subscribe button so they can get to know more of what I'm doing right here